goal. We're gonna bring our grandchildren here. I don't really want to video this, but. So, uh, where are you camping, Nickerson's? <laughs> no idea where we're going right now. Half these people would have you arrested in five seconds. <laughs> Unbelievable day. Unbelievable day. We are completely <laughs> boxed. Oh, it's our first steaminess. <laughs> oh, the smells are coming, Lo. The smell Lo is favorite. I see a slight resemblance here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the scene. Is it not just crazy magical? Okay, so this episode's gonna be a little bit different than normal. And what I'm gonna say is probably gonna be, you're gonna scoff at it. We do not have a plan. <laughs> we are truly winging it. At our Walmart here in Cody, Wyoming. Mm -hmm. um, we just left the ranch and uh, we don't know where we're going. I know Which we're Which is gonna... not totally unlike us, but yeah. we at least have an idea. And the deal is, is that we are heading up to the glacier area to visit one of the girl's really good friends and her family. So we have a destination, but it's like a week away. So we are winging it through Yellowstone. We're in Cody. We've never been through the east entrance, so we're really excited. Bunch of new stuff. I really want to see Grand Prismatic. That's just my absolute favorite. It's the best. So... Parking's um, a little tighter in that location than in Old Faithful. So I said we don't have a plan, but we have a little bit of a plan. We have a campground, what, Baker something in, in West Yellowstone? Right, Baker's Hole. We've won Yellowstone before. You might have seen this video. It's got like 800,000 views or something on how everybody thinks we're idiots for trying to park our <laughs> RV. It was a little drama for YouTube. Like, oh we parked easily there, but. Good. I don't know if this is gonna work. You don't think so? All right. I don't like giving up, but... I know. Okay. No, this one's easy compared to what we just tried to do. Yeah, no kidding. Are we in? Like, even with the truck? We'll be in with the truck. Huh. Anyways, we're fun. not going to try to do that again. We're going to camp outside the park. Yes. On this adventure. But one thing that I will say is if you've been into a place before, most national parks have multiple entrances. So there may be whole sections of the park that you haven't gotten to explore. So make sure if you do go back that you go and see the places you haven't seen. Because even just the drive in mm -hmm. can be a completely different experience. Especially a park the size of Yellowstone. Yeah. We actually were going to go do the Beartooth Pass. That was our original plan. That's why we're last minute right now. I had a plan and now we don't have a plan. Our plan was to go up through the Beartooth Pass, come down through Yellowstone, but because of the flooding, mm. all those roads I planned on going are shut down. So that's why we are winging it. That's right. We're just deviating. More than normal. A little bit more than normal. <laughs> and uh, I just changed my cabin air filter. Um, the AC was a little weak and uh, you can see why right here. I don't really want to video this, but... <sighs> what in the heck? No wonder. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Yeah, no wonder you're not working. What? Wonder if we had a mouse or something. I don't even know why I never thought to change this stupid thing. Just for some drama. Oh my gosh. So it's a lot cooler in here now. I'm kind of embarrassed that I let it get that far. I've never changed the cabin air filter. You have to take everything apart, but still really easy. I would check your air filters because it might look like mine. Um, I don't let know. us know what they look like. Send us some pictures yeah, and tag us in them. If you change if yours and it looks anything like mine, I'd love to see it. We want to see It'll what it looks like. It'll make me feel a little bit better about myself. So here's the thing. You actually know more than me right now because I, like normal, probably gave away too much in the intro. So you know if we saw something cool. <laughs> me? I don't know. It's supposed to rain, so maybe it's just going to be raining. It might be. It's just going to be a good surprise. For us. That's right. You guys already know. <laughs> this is a great road already. A little smoky. Uh, there's a bunch of fires going on in Idaho, um, in, uh, in Montana. I think they're just in California. Oregon. Yep. I think everything's kind of on 
higher. It's something to consider when you're going to be traveling through areas like this, especially in like late summer, early fall. Fires are definitely something that you need to be thinking about and yeah. looking up regularly as you're planning your trips because sometimes that's going to derail you or cause you to just take a different route to where you're trying to go. And there's this website, I just, I mean, everybody probably knows about it, but it's a website that shows a, a, a map of the United States and it shows where the fires are, mm -hmm. information about that fire if you click on it, and it shows you kind of a visual map of, of where the smoke is. It looks like clouds. It's uh, incredible how far the smoke actually moves. We could see smoke in Wyoming from fires that were from Idaho. I guess it's the jet stream. So the smoke gets into the jet stream. If you look at this map, um, it's, it shows where the, the fire start, catches the jet stream, and it's like way up on the other, on the east coast of Canada. The smoke goes all that way. We're gonna film the tunnels that we're going through. This oh is one my of my gosh, look how deep favorite that ones. All right, so yes, Oh we my go. gosh. Come in the east entrance. We've always come from the north or we've come up through the Tetons. This is our first time going this direction. Whoa, this is a long one. Holy cow, look at the inside of this tunnel. This is a long tunnel. This is amazing. Well, so far, as you guys can see, it's probably going to be kind of a drive day adventure. I'm really yeah. actually looking forward to it. Like I said before, the pressure's off. Oh, it's a dam. It's part of a dam. We've already visited Yellowstone a few times, and now, like, we're just here. I'm, I'm, I'm probably more excited this time than we were last time. Whoa! The, was that, that the dam we were that. supposed to stop at? <laughs> yeah. We got filming. That was the dam we were going to stop at. What is it? Buffalo Bill? This is Bill? Buffalo Bill Reservoir and it's the Buffalo Bill Dam. And there's a visitor center there as well. So there's just really cool stuff that you can just uh, stop by and turn around. figure out. I don't that know. was part of our not. day. I didn't realize it was so soon. We literally just <laughs> left the Walmart parking lot. You can turn around right here if you want. He is the worst. If we like go past just by like 10 feet, he's like, nope, we've passed it now. We're done. All right, let's see what else we find on this drive day. So we're at Buffalo Bill State Park now. Let's see what uh, old Buffalo Bill can show us. These are like jagged so peaks here. When you say I'll dig much deeper, I'll shout. Let me know when I get closer, open up the sky for me. When you say I'll sure this is all original right it says it's buffalo bill's original hunting lodge camp monaco holy cow what is it it says closed he's finishing up some stuff but he said we can come in well thank you so much for letting us come through we've been stacking the timber since 1901 this finished in 1904 and on July 1st, 1905, Buffalo Bill Cody formally opened the Haska Teepee to the general public as a motel. And we operated from 1905 until 1959 as a motel. This is a miniature version of the uh, Old Faithful Inn. I was going to say, I get a lot yeah, of vibes. Because like, that's six yeah. And this is a, a one-fifth scale, okay. so to speak. <laughs> wow. This is a lot more cozy. I bet this was hopping in its day. The Let's just do it real quick so we can get out of here. Sure, no rush, no rush. I'm not gonna lie, right where you're standing, I see a slight resemblance here. <laughs> <laughs> Only the family knows. <laughs> this was the dining room. Okay. Unlike our restaurant next door, this was only used by the guests that stayed here. Okay. It was three dollars a night per person man woman and child okay children take up space just like adults they make noise to eat food i'll give you an idea about the menu for dinner here's the meats i'm waiting for it your I'm choice excited. of fresh bison 
fresh elk, fresh black bear, fresh grizzly bear, fresh goose, fresh duck, fresh rabbit, or fresh trout. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Word. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And I'm For guessing alone. it was really fresh here. Yes, yeah. that's right. Well, I was going to say, kill, killed in the morning, fresh at night. Thank you so much for yes, letting us in. This is great. I just like all these old doors. I think that's what I like most about this place is it's been modified a couple little times for, yeah. for modern conveniences, but what we're looking at is all original. I know. He just told us that that area that we were out, like that whole deck, that was Buffalo Bill's like private space when he came here. It's so fun. Look at the construction, because these are walls and these are supports for the second story. This must have been like a cut out, like a doorway at one point. That was the um, fire escape. Oh. He just was telling us that they had I to gotcha. take them down because they were a hazard yeah and i'm guessing these were just tiny little trees when it was started this is what you get this was a quick stop just to just to stretch legs we didn't even know about this place i just no idea i was looking at it um and i'm going to show you over there the gift shop it said buffalo bill's original hunting cabin and it was like all martin i was like yeah right then i looked over here and i was like Huh, let's go check that out. And you always want to find the person that knows the history so that you can like glean information. It's like finding a local in a town. It's my it's so favorite fun. thing when I can look at something and be like, oh, what about that? And yeah. he had the answer and for it. That's answer. my favorite. Other times I just sit there and wonder. I got a lot of questions. <laughs> bush, just so you know. Gooseberry. Awesome. Mm -hmm. it's, cool. it's a family like the current bush. Okay. Except these guys have stickers. And here, they'll get you. There you go, try that. All right. Are it's you, really good. Make uh, the yeah. best pie You just ever. met her. You shouldn't do that. It's really good. <laughs> Isn't it good? It's delicious. It is. Well, Thank they make you. make a marvelous pie. Oh, I oh, bet. That would oh, be yeah. delicious. Yeah, yeah. Thank when you. Thank you, hon. When they're not that dark, they're really sour. Oh, I, mean, I bet. Yeah, shake your head. They sour. have a little bit of a tartness to them, but yeah. that was delicious. Thank you. you what did you say it was gooseberry? Gooseberry. He's actually the one that used to run the tours in here, yeah. he told us. So we at least had a little bit of information. <laughs> that was delicious. I need to get some more gooseberries. Oh my gosh. Awesome. See? Find the local people that know what's around. So we're obviously blasting through this area because we only have like two and a half hours of daylight left and we haven't even reached Yellowstone <laughs> yet. We went by like the Scott Mansion, obviously the dam. Um, this is just a bunch of stuff there's we've been all driving kinds by. Of stuff. I, this Not is... to mention, there's just pullouts where you're like looking at the North Fork Shoshone River. There's just places where you can just pull over and make lunch. Yep. Beautiful. The drive has not disappointed. So we're just into September. This is our favorite, you know, shoulder Absolutely. seasons. Uh, could be snowing up here, but it's beautiful. Like it's 75 gorgeous. degrees out. This is amazing. Gorgeous. All right, we got to get back on the road though. <laughs> where will we find next? Look at this thing. Ah, look at her. Ah. She's running. Little camera shy. She's doing her little wiggle dance. She... <laughs> Look at the view. This is what I saw. Right. I just saw this and I was like, oh, just touristy. This is kind of tucked away and you didn't really see it. But that's where the action is. We are in Yellowstone Park now. That random stop at, at Buffalo Bill's original, you know, hunting, hunting lodge. lodge. Really awesome. This is just as exciting. I always feel like that though, really, as when we very first started. This is just as exciting. People ask us a lot, like, aren't you bored with RVing and haven't you seen everything? And our honest to goodness answer is we feel like we've barely even touched it and there are phases of travel where you just get really excited to see something new or to go back and explore an area in a different way than you did the first time so no we're not bored and not, we have so much more to see at all no so i'm going to challenge you this is a challenge for me mm -hmm. to not get stuck in a rut even though we're going across the country it's it's very easy to go the route that you know. Mm -hmm. um, it's very easy. When you leave a place that you go to every year, you're like, oh, I did this last time. I'm, I'm comfortable. Mm -hmm. I'm familiar with it. We're so, creatures of habit. 
creatures of habit. So go out of your comfort zone. Find a new route. It's it. So far, it has never disappointed I us. I know. So we're in Yellowstone. We have not seen any animals yet. We've not ever had really good luck in Yellowstone seeing wildlife. Buffalo, bison. Yes. For all you people that are going to yell at me for saying buffalo. Yeah. Here's the thing. Buffalo just sounds way cooler. I know it's bison. Yes. But Custer National Park even names them buffalo. That's true. So they're like the government. We're going with Custer. <laughs> Trust it. <laughs> this is amazing. You know what's going to be amazing though? Really amazing? Is if we found a campsite tonight. Sweet. <laughs> so, uh, where are you camping, Nickerson's? <laughs> no idea where we're going right now. Well, we have a we have one option that is first come first serve, and then another one that is a parking area that we can stay in overnight. So yeah, we're fine, but it'd be nice to be officially official. Oh, it's our first steaminess. <laughs> oh, the smells are coming, Lo. The smells. Lo's are favorite. Coming. It's our favorite. <laughs> we are completely boxed. I love it though. Everybody's excited. I know. So it's official. We are in Yellowstone. <laughs> also, we're not leaving this spot anymore. Yeah, we're kind soon. of stuck here. <laughs> Elk sounds so amazing. This guy, his antlers are pretty close to rivaling that one that we saw in Rocky Mountain. Nah. You don't think so? No. That's a big elk. Look at all these people. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go scare that elk away so we can get out of here. Oh. Half these people would have you arrested in five seconds. <laughs> We'd be dead. We'd never be out of here. That's so just <laughs> caution wildlife on roadway. It's all the people with their cameras. Get a picture. There's an opening. Slight, take it. Slight opening here. People are gonna want to pull in after us, so everybody thinks that us squeaking was a elk. <laughs> the elk responding. <laughs> Look at this. Pulled out, I was like, <laughs> it sounded just like the elk, and everybody's like looking. <laughs> when we pulled in there just for a second, we were the first people to pull in there, and yep. then all of a sudden, there were hundreds of people. <laughs> like, oh, this RV stop, there's gotta be something's gotta be here if it made them pull over. Oh my gosh, we've never seen wolves, which is the one that we were really hoping to see the last time we kind of drove through I don't Lamar think we've a little bit. Ever seen a on, in our travels, nope. I don't think we've ever seen a wolf. Man, I'd love to see a wolf. That'd be so cool. So that's on the bucket list. So those people pulled over. We're, not, we're done. We can't. We're killing time. We can't fit in that. <laughs> it's probably a wolf. It's probably a wolf. It's most definitely you know why we oh, never man. saw a wolf. Yeah. We were here in 2018, um, and there was just, I don't know, if, there was zero growth. It was just dead trees, yeah, all zero growth. All the trees are like four or five feet tall now, like all new pine. I can't believe the regrowth. I don't know if that is natural or if those were planted. Uh, I'm guessing it's natural just because of how random and, 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 and thick it is. It's incredible All though. this is new too, I all know. this is all new. So I just, I can't wait. I'm gonna come back here in 10 years, probably a few times in between. 
and see it. It'd be a whole brand new forest. It's gonna be unbelievable. That's the goal. We're gonna bring our grandchildren here. Right, girls? Oh yeah. Hi. Can we take them ourselves, or do you have to come too? I mean, I we should do dueling I RV. Can't. I want. I want you guys to come too. For how we decided to come in here, we've seen a little, couple little steaminesses, but uh, we haven't seen any. <laughs> Okay, steaminess. steaminesses? Yeah, what's a steaminess? <laughs> the noun form of steaminess. Yeah, geysers or whatever, hot springs. The noun plural. I like steaminesses. Oh my gosh. To the west, to the east, or the mountain, or over the sea. It don't matter where I am, I will be a happy man if those clouds just fall been one of the most awesome drive days ever and I'm curious like a lot of this has been filmed in the truck is it super boring to, <laughs> to just keep filming in the truck I mean it's an awesome drive day because we happen to include Yellowstone as part of our drive which is incredible one of my favorite places ever it's freezing it's 46 degrees look here. at this it was like 46 80 yesterday yeah it's nuts what do you think what are the chances there's a spot open for us and prismatic I don't know. We're going to see. So the lower parking lot does have RV parking. It just depends on if you can get in or not. This is just awesome seeing the steam come up. Rise up. So you can see the walkway right up there. Those people over there are walking right along. So right. the steam is even more prominent right now because it's colder out. Right. So colder, the more steamy. Oh, look how awesome that is. Yeah, that looks really cool. All right. Hopefully there's a place to park. We have it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see the RV behind us, but there's plenty of spots. Yeah. I think the weather and maybe just the time of the day, cause it's like six o'clock. So yeah, everybody's like gone and eating dinner. This was kind of our advice. Even in the summer, we noticed that around 5.30, everybody starts to disappear. You know, the rush of the day is over and everybody's hungry, which is kind of what we are right now. <laughs> but we had to stop. We have to stop because so I don't know what the weather's doing. So we have to do this now. Like we're driving by like this. You don't drive by Grand Prismatic. And this, this is actually not Grand Prismatic. This is Excelsior Spring in front of Grand Prismatic. So Grand Prismatic is actually over here. See all that mist rising? I don't know with all of this mist, I don't know that we're actually gonna be able to see any of the color. That's why being up on that, um, Overlook, overlook is so cool it's really really cool but this cut these colors the steam this place is it's out of this world i love it <laughs> all right the girls are taking steamy pictures That's um not and this um right. i'm gonna tell you right now this is the first time i'll admit it not good van van these walking. are so slippery i, I might die actually so <laughs> i've never encountered a place that these do not work and he's done a lot of places with these. This, he's hiked in them. This is... Oh my gosh. <laughs> so slippery. I think everybody makes a mental note of what not to wear every time they watch one of our videos. <laughs> what not to wear, what not to do. Yeah, what not to say, everything. So we're a what not to do channel. Look at the bubble, that's awesome. You doing a time lapse? Yeah, every once in a while you get a little break and you can see the green and blue. Look how sad this is. What is it? 
A dead dragonfly. A little bit warmer over here. I bet it's. Oh yeah, it feels lovely. About 10 degrees warmer over in this breeze where the girls are. We can see all of the uh, the old bison hoof prints right there. Oh, so cool. Wow, look at this repair job. Dang, that's good. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Wow. These ripples, I love these ripples. I know. They're amazing. No, we're leaving the heat. So that overlook I keep talking about is actually right up there. So it's not that far. You can access that by the Fairy Falls Trail. It's not the whole trail, just, I don't know how long it is in there, but. It's like a mile and a half both ways, like in and out. Okay. And it's totally worth it. It's how you can actually see all of the amazing colors of Grand Prismatic. All the colors are only really visible when you when go you're up, up there. there. So you can really appreciate what the actual feature looks like. Oh yeah. The different colors are because of different bacteria that live at different temperatures in yeah. the water. So it gives it that rainbow look and it yeah. is just incredible. The blue is the hottest. Right. Um, and I believe that's just no, nothing growing. But then as it gets cooler, as it comes out, it changes colors from green to yellow to orange to red. And then, you know, brownish maroon is the coolest. It's so amazing. It's so spectacular. A little bit of science for you. It's not like glacier water, which is caused by rock flower. Light refracting off of rock flower is what gives it that color. Yeah, like if you go up to like Moraine Lake in Canada, mm -hmm. like, oh my Essentially gosh. Essentially just why the sky is blue. Yeah. Amazing. Oh Look gosh. at the sun. This is unbelievable. Come on. Ah, I'm so glad we stopped. I know, this is perfect. But look at this scene here. You gotta just, I know I just showed a bunch with the 360, but the <laughs> sun wasn't out before. Look at this scene, is it not just crazy magical? The ripples are my favorite. Oh like, gosh. The water's just coming down and oh, yes. all these different layers. And I think we have some uh, hungry girls. Me included. Yeah. Me too, actually. <laughs> Are you a hungry girl, honey? <laughs> they're jumping, yeah. they're doing jumping jacks, like, come on. <laughs> Look at this light. I, I, did, I gotta do it again. Look at this light. You have to understand he's a photographer. Everything is based on light in this world. Yep. It just looks better. Just like it's better outside. Right. Oh, man. I can't believe how lucky we just got. I mean, we just showed up to Grand Prismatic. It was pouring for like an hour. We get there, timing was perfect. The light came out. It's uh, 7.15. We're still about 45 minutes away from our campground destination and it's oh, first come, first serve. So it. here's the thing though, like the campground itself closes in 15 days. So the season is almost over. So hopefully there'll be at least one spot we can fit in. Hopefully, if not, there's, we have a backup, just, uh, just dry camping in a lot, which, we're fine. Totally. I think fine. it's no different than that. Because I know. Gonna be dry camping, so it doesn't no really matter. No matter what. Yellowstone as a whole is kind of just a big loop. So, and then there's two sides of the loop. I, the lake side of the loop is more the wildlife side, and then the old faithful side is the other side. Right. It's more the geyser springs stuff like that side. And there's two kind of major exceptions to that loop. What you miss if you if you just do the loop. And that is Lamar Valley, which is another place where you can see bear, all the wildlife, wolves. That's a nice spot. Not from personal experience. Not from but personal experience. Some people have seen But everybody else <laughs> seems to be lucky there. And then the other place is a Mammoth. So Mammoth Ooh. is the north entrance. Right. So that's the other section of, major section of Yellowstone. That's where the terraced 
um, the Terrace Springs. What are they called? But they're uh, amazing. Canary, Canary Falls or Canary oh, Springs. Canary Falls is amazing. Right? It's, it's another crazy. otherworldly place in Yellowstone, which they, it, Yellowstone is so diverse. And now we really realize that after taking that drive in from the east side. And if you're into fishing, as you just saw, the fishing in Yellowstone is pretty unbelievable. Everybody talks about it. Yeah. I guess all of Wyoming and Montana are just unbelievable for fly fishing, but just a magical scene. I just love seeing that. Once uh, again, we're gonna make our point that you may not be able to do everything in one area. Pick those one or two things that you have time for and do them very well. Don't just like, you know, hop around and not really have the experience because you're trying to fit too much into a short period of time. Unbelievable day. Unbelievable day. Is full. Okay, so the campground was full, so plan B is a parking lot. We've got some neighbors out here. We're just gonna stay for the night and head on our way again in the morning.